Okay, well, it's finally out. Let's go through this thing. Throughout history, there have been warriors called night. Well, we see scenes of Death Queen Island, Dragon's Home in China, and Greece. The winner will win this. We have our first voice of the Pope. It sounds familiar, but I can't really point out who it is just yet. Symbol of knighthood, this Pegasus armor. Men and women with powers unlike anything. We have the classic scene of Seiya showing his cosmos and superiority against Cassius. Anything else you've ever seen today a new Something new here reminds me of early Saint Seiya Omega. Seiya summons the bronze cloth via some magical tag instead of directly carrying a cloth box. Generation of knights control the fate of the world. You see some visually nice effects from the bronze saints unleashing their techniques. Dragon saying Shen Long caught me off guard though. That's not what the technique says in any language. <laughs> They are called the Knights of the Zodiac. Together, we can do anything. We're under attack. Don't let them get their hands on the gold armor. You have my word. This is more than we can handle. Okay, a lot there. We hear some voices of the cast, the plotline of protecting the cloth of Sagittarius. They are going with the old dub translation of calling the Saints Knights. That is confirmed now. We find out that the military is after them, something not at all in the classic and was only somewhat touched upon in the classic anime, but only slightly. How is it happening here? In some spin-offs, it is stated that the sanctuary, the home base of the saints or knights, controlled the government, so they likely sent them to attack and kill the saints. Knights must be capable of doing the things no one can. That was awesome! Told ya. Okay, we see old Master Doko in China, though they might call him Master Roshi here. He's not purple this time. Then we see Shun, who is now a female. That I will go over in my next video. These are the Black Knights. Something evil. And finally, basically the first true villain of Saint Seiya, Phoenix Iki, and his Black Saints. We have to attack together. Seiya, now! Pegasus! Seiya, burn your Cosmo. And finally, the signature technique of Pegasus Seiya. Pegasus Raishuken. We end it with Eagle Marin talking of Cosmo, which is basically Kai in this series. Overall thoughts? Basically, meh. But let's start with the good stuff. They are keeping cloth designs close to the classic. That's cool. I like the special effects. It really brings life to the movement to me. And even the background in some parts look pretty nice. I guess that's it. Now what I don't like and what I fear, starting with the small stuff. The change from Cosmos to Cosmo, while likely correct, will be hard for me to get used to personally. Changing the names to flawed translations almost nobody remembers, I'm not a fan of. Lazily and cheaply repeated models, claws magically coming out of a necklace, and the voice acting is unimpressive. The animation looks a bit stiff to me. The art itself I'm not a big fan of, kinda reminds me of a slightly cheaper version of Skylanders. I'm kinda worried about how they will handle the military stuff, even Bronson shouldn't really have any problems with tanks or attack helicopters. So overall, very unimpressed. It looks like a dumbed down version for little American kids and the series simply deserves better than that. But tell me what you think. Like, comment, and sub. And please come back for my next video. The reason it took me so long to write this out because of sheer annoyance and anger. <laughs>